Let's have a look at how to concatenate fields in a report. Concatenate is rather a grand word, but it simply means join. So we're going to look at how to join fields in a report. We'll create the report using the wizard and we'll run through this very quickly. I'm going to base it on my vehicles table. I'm going to have my registration number, manufacturer, model, year made. That'll do for this and carry on through the wizard. I don't want any grouping. It's going to fly through this so we've got a finished product. Okay, there's our report. Just a, simply a list of all the vehicles on the database. What concatenate will allow us to do is join fields together to be one field. Let's switch to design view and have a look at how to do this. One of the reasons we do this is because when you start manually creating um, reports yourself and, and putting new controls onto them, it can be quite tricky to just line things up. Especially when you start moving them around. So what I'm going to show you is how to concatenate fields. In this instance, we're going to concatenate the manufacturer and model so that they are in one field. Now this is just a function like a sum or a count or a calculation. So it needs to go in a text box control. So we click text box control and click and drag to draw our control on the screen. Now this is where people often go wrong. They try to create a concatenation in the controls that are already there. You can't do that. They are bound to the data. So I can't type inside this manufacturer control here because that's bound to the data. We need an unbound control in the first instance. So it is a calculation and we start every calculation with an equal sign and then we have round brackets and we're going to join the fields together so we have to use the field names. The field names are manufacturer and model. Any time we use field names we have to insert them in square brackets. So that's what comes next, a square bracket. We'll take the manufacturer field and then close the brackets. So that means take the manufacturer field and remember you've got to get that spelling exactly the same as in the real field. Otherwise it just won't work. We then use the ampersand sign which on my keyboard is shift 7, the ampersand sign. That means join. So we're going to join that to the model field. So you can see again the model field is in square brackets and we put the finish off the round brackets around the outside. So that says equal inside round brackets the whole calculation and the calculation is manufacture field and or join with the model field. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. And you can see there we've got the original field Austin Princess, two separate fields, and we've got the new one Austin Princess all joined together with an awfully nice label. So let's refine this a little bit because also notice that Austin Princess doesn't have a space between. So let's look at refining this. We'll go back into Design View. To put our space in, we can simply click back inside the control text box and add more things to it. So I want to take the manufacturer field and add it to a space. So a space as is quotation marks space quotation marks and then I want to join that space so another ampersand sign to model so that is equals the whole calculation in round brackets name of the field in square brackets join to a space 
joined to the model field. Next, let's have a look at the properties of the label. I don't want it to be called text 13. I want it to be called manufacturer and model. Okay, now that's rather a long label, so I'll need to just alter the size of that label. Let's see how this is coming along. Switch to print preview. Manufacturer plus model is now the label. And we can see it says Austin Princess with a nice space between. Once we've done that, of course, we don't need the original fields. So let's switch back and delete the original labels and fields and move our objects into position. You'll notice when you try to move the label that it won't come outside of the detail section. You can't put it up there in the page header, which is where I want it to be to match the other labels. Simple solution is simply to cut that part of the object. Select the page header and paste it, and then you can click and drag that label into position. So let's see what that's looking like. Yep, there's now our form. We've got the manufacturer model as a label and the two fields joined together, concatenated together, Austin Princess. That can make things a lot easier to position your controls um, and make things look more attractive.